So, and then you have, uh, of course, both Christians and Jews characterized as people of the book, as therefore believers, uh, who, as you point out in, in, in your book, uh, are destined to go to heaven if they believe appropriately and act appropriately. Then you, you so in Muhammad in his life, he, uh, he begins the process of revelation, he preaches in Mecca, he and his followers are driven out to Medina, and where they establish what we, I guess, would call a government now. And you describe uh, the the nation state that was created, or city state that was created under Muhammad in Medina as a diverse nation of Abrahamians. And they were living under what's come to be called a constitution of Medina uh, by some. But uh, so it was basically a, con I mean, uh, help me understand. Uh, I picture it as a confederation of tribes uh, all allied uh, under the leadership of Muhammad, is it with different differing beliefs, but all uh, swearing allegiance under this compact. Is that essentially right? That is exactly right. When, uh, when Muhammad went to Medina, I, I think he served as a mediator uh, for political uh, wrangling amongst these various tribes and clans. And there, from the Quran's account, there were, you know, pagans, Christians, Jews, um, other groups are mentioned that we're not exactly sure who they are. Uh, and then the, a lot of people had come to follow Muhammad there. Uh, and Muhammad emerged, I think, as, as a senator, as a mediator amongst them. Uh, and people outside of his belief community acknowledged him as, as uh, an authority. Um, but this uh, uh, document that we have, the uh, Constitution of Medina, uh, clearly kind of sets up a, a sort of federalism that each clan does some housekeeping of its own amongst its own uh, members. And then they have joint responsibilities to defend the city. Uh, and it calls them all a, a, a nation, an uh, ummah in Arabic. Um, and, uh, and, and it's clear that this is not a nation of Muslims, of, of people who follow Muhammad in specific. It's, it's, it's a multicultural rainbow nation, uh, including Jews and Christians. And... Um, it says of the Jews that they are a member of this nation, uh, but they have their religion and we have ours. Uh, and they're not to be harmed in any way. They're given civil protections, and uh, but then they're, they have to pledge to help defend the city. Uh, so this is a, a very remarkable document, and it's reflected, I think its values are reflected also in the, in the Quran. Uh, and, and it makes clear that Muhammad's movement was ecumenical in, in character.